Well, good morning and welcome back to the book of Malachi. Let's read chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. You offer defiled blood on my altar, but say, in what way have we defiled you? By saying, the table of the Lord is contemptible. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice, is it not evil? And when you offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it then to your governor. Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably, says the Lord of hosts? So we're studying the book of Malachi. We're looking at it a little bit each morning. In verse 6, the Lord began to approach the priests. He's addressing the priests now and saying, you priests despise my name. And they're saying, well, wait a minute, how do we despise your name? And now he gives an answer in verses 7 and 8. You offer defiled food on my altar. The animals, the sacrifices that are offered on the altar, what are they? They are the deaf, they are the blind, they are lame sacrifices. They're kind of, you know, dragging them in and offering them. This is, this is awful. You offer the best to God. And he says, well, would you, if you offered this to your local governor, would they accept it? Of course not. It would be an, an insult. And so then to take these animals, which are not the best, to sacrifice the damaged, the maimed, to sacrifice the ones that represent your worst rather than your best, that the priests were doing this. The priests were making this legitimate. They were, they were teaching the people to, you don't have to bring your best to God. You don't even have to bring... Just bring something. Bring something that's smashed. Go ahead and bring it on in. We'll work with that. This is what they're teaching. A reduction of spirituality, a very low spirituality. The priests, it's not just anybody. It's the priests, the ones who are charged to uphold it the most. And they're teaching the people to bring the worst. Something that wouldn't even be acceptable by a human leader if you were to give it as a gift to them. So God is unhappy. He's trying to get their attention. He's trying to get them to recognize that you give to God your best. You don't give to God your worst. In the New Testament, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 tell us that we are to make our bodies a living sacrifice, acceptable to the Lord. We're not to be conformed to this world all around us, but we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. These priests weren't teaching that. These priests were teaching, uh, bring any old thing mediocrity will do. And so God is trying to bring them back. He's trying to bring them up to higher ground. He's trying to help them come up higher so that when the priests come up higher, the people will come up higher. But he's not having too much success, and as the book goes on, he won't have too much success. But he's making the attempt nonetheless. And so what can we learn from this? Well, when we come to God, we should give him our lives as a living sacrifice. Jesus gave his life for us. Is it too much for us to seek to live according to the moving of his spirit, to be his agents in this, in this dark world? Is that asking too much? So God wants us to come up, and he would be calling us today, and he's calling us now, not to give him our mediocrity, but to give him our excellence. And where are we going to get that excellence? We get it from him to begin with anyway. So let's put that in mind, and let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, the priests are not doing too well here. The priests are asleep at the wheel, and the spirituality of the nation is sharply declining very quickly. You are trying to call them to their duty and help the people come up higher. Oh, Lord, help us to take in the lesson. Help us to give you our best, give you the best that we have, not the least that we have. It's a thin line, Lord, between descent into hopeless materialism and ascent to where we can be in communion with you. Please, Lord, be our helper. And as you called the priest, you're calling us. Help us to come up higher. Thank you for Jesus. Use us in this, your work, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, let's give God our best. Let's not give him our mediocrity. Our mediocrity isn't for anybody, but let's give God the best that we can give him. He will bless. He will bless you and use you in this time on planet Earth. God be with you.